Hello, Jawbreakers, and welcome to another exciting show of Jawbreak Today, and I'm your host, Raymond Muruku. It is a Monday, and I am sure some of you are feeling the itis to help kickstart the feeling to the curb. Why don't you consider just physical gym? As this industry has grown and the wellness revolution is huge, you know, nationwide, I want to start appealing to a wider demographic. And not only to a wider demographic from a business point of view, but also, you know, to show people that wellness doesn't need to be within a facility. It can be outside in the fresh air using your body weight. So um, I started thinking beyond the traditional gym environment, what can we do? And I started looking at functional fitness and you know, how can we start implementing that into the gym? Um, and that's when I met Evan. And the, I think our ideas and our passions kind of knitted together really well. Um, and Just Physical Street was born. I started looking at a lot of different types of exercising, a lot of uh, different types of sports programs and that kind of thing. And uh, I found Street Workout, and Street Workout um, was calisthenics, which is you know using your own body weight within uh, trying to train yourself, and then taking a little bit further. Uh, you know, as you start progressing, the stronger you get, you can add some gymnastic elements to it. The, the thing that sets this gym apart is just this, this outdoor experience. I mean, being able to train out here, uh, lots of resistance training, body training, strength training, and uh, not just you know, sitting around and dangling weights around uh, foolishly, but using the weights or using your weight very well. So it's been good in that regard. Yeah. Calisthenics actually takes it right from the basic phase all the way through to the most advanced. And the best way I can describe it is You've never been in the gym before, you are at the lowest fitness level, you're doing a basic push-up. The stronger you get, you then move on to a normal push-up. The stronger you get, you may be doing push-up on a ball or an incline push-up. And then, when it gets to the gymnastic element, you're throwing it in and you're doing some freestyle types of push-ups. My experience has always been awesome. I'm not, I get bored very quickly, so I need something to keep me coming back. And they obviously got the recipe and I've been coming back for three years. So it's quite a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> this gym I've always found to be a family and friendly orientated gym. You know, it's not like going into a normal mainstream gym where it's just, I get in, put my earphones in and I do my own thing and I leave. You know, here people socialize, they speak to one another, they find out where they're going and what they're doing with their goals. What's really nice is that there's actually an interest in where your goals are and they actually want to help you. You know, it's like, how can I help you get there and putting your best interests first? With the right coaching, you know, and, and given that commitment, you'll get there before you know it, you know. So that's the biggest tip is stop making excuses. Take the first step just to get into a facility like ours and you'll surprise yourself. Just Physical Gym brings the outdoor experience of gymming on a whole new level and it will ensure that you get the body that you want for this year. I'm Spio Matabula for Joburg Today. Follow us on Twitter, that's at Jobig Today, and like our Facebook page, that's JobigToday.tv. Cooking may be on your list of hobbies, but the secret Josie chef will school you to make every meal a masterpiece. After much consideration and the fact that I'm a foodie, it was no-brainer that I should return back to the secret Josie chef's lair to try my hand at one of his cooking classes, which he holds regularly. Paul, I'm not going to lie to you. I can't get enough of this place. Let's talk about how you started up with the whole idea. When did this whole idea of actually doing the cookery pop up into mind? I don't want to say it was over a drunken dinner, but it was over a drunken dinner. <laughs> we were kind of out in the bush, a group of friends, and I booked a place with this huge table and a big kitchen. And I started working with my friends, and I started saying to everyone, like, come on, give me a hand. And we actually had the most incredible weekend. And I was teaching and sharing with everyone to cook. And then it was this natural connection. Everyone kept saying to me through the secret Josie chef, like, when are you going to do teaching? And I'd done a few classes before, and then I thought, you know what? Life's short, why not? And well, here we are. <laughs> And what's been the response so far? It's incredible. Anything less, you know, it, it's just been unbelievable. We started out with a plan to do nine classes a month. We're kind of hitting 20 in a month. And we've got pressure continuously to add more. But this is a sort of, it's, a, it's, a, it's something of love. I don't do it out of it. So we're going to kind of keep it around that sort of 20 classes a month mark. But what makes this place a convenient venue to actually do the cookery? I think that it is, I mean, where it's based, you know, it's proximity to Santon and Rosebank and everything, it is quite central. But at the same time, I think 
I mean, I've chosen a spot that's really quite hidden and you can't find it within the main retail space and that ties into my whole secret Josie Chef brand and I wanted to be this sort of secret kitchen you could escape to, come in, have the most amazing evening with friends, it's social cooking, get a little bit drunk, learn to cook a couple of things and then basically sit down, eat dinner and walk away from the mess. The class itself is very hands-on and Paul's demonstrations allow for me to relax just a little. Though I may be comfortable in the kitchen, it's always a good idea to have someone guide you through new recipes and cooking methods. The atmosphere in this place is similar to having a bunch of friends come over who you get to cook for and enjoy a really great meal. I was paired with two wonderful ladies who made me feel comfortable and involved in the whole cooking process. So who pretty much comes in? Everyone. We've got all sorts of people. We've got people that are professional cooks, people who are wanting to learn because we do a lot of country themed sort of uh, evenings, Morocco, Spain, that type of thing. You know, if someone who's got an interest in it, they might come in. We've got people who have never cooked before. We've got what we call our social cooks and they are our regulars and we've actually seen in two and a half months, we've got regulars who've been in here six, eight, ten times to come through for classes and they just say it's the most amazing evening out. Do you see yourself actually expanding this uh, whole concept? No. Why not? Speak to me later. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at the moment. Not at the moment, but we've had so much sort of interest and people have, you know, we've, but we kind of, I'm a believer that you've got to focus on what you do. When I started my restaurant, I was the same. I focused, I got it to exactly where it needed to be. And we're going to do the same thing with this. All right. Well, I look forward to it, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a semi-professional. Well, good. I'll make sure I put you with a group of non-professionals and you can make sure that... As, as long as it's in the back. As long as it's in the back. And what a night it was. This experience is something I'm definitely going to do again. I'm Leroy, Man About Town. My name is Chef Coco, and you are watching Joburg Today. For more news on the City of Gold, do check out our playlist. That's all from me, Ray, and the rest of the Joburg Today crew. That's goodbye.